and, and when you watch it erupt, it seems like there's at least sort of three central, central vents that go off at different times. So I think if you land somewhere out in that general area, you're probably getting down close to one of the vents. This one's really close here. There could, there, could, there could be some error, but it's showing around 106 C. That seems pretty high to me. And so you have this cycle down here of, of hot water flowing through a favorable fracture zone. And then because of precipitation of calcium carbonate and other minerals, begins to seal up. And then since that water can't get out as easily along that fracture, it'll try to find a new place to come out. And so we've seen that over the years. Anybody that's been to Hot Creek has seen changes in where the most vigorous thermal springs are. Swimming temporarily prohibited Hot Creek geologic site as of June the 2nd, 2006. Constant changing conditions at this site are natural occurrences. Increased activity has resulted in new mud pots. Ground heating in a small new geyser. According to USGS scientists, this activity should not be interpreted as increased unrest in the caldera. And if you'd like some more further information, Call the Mammoth Visitor Center at 924-5500. Oh, I didn't play any part at all. I, I think it's probably a wise idea until, until things stabilize here. Um, as just we've noticed here in the last few minutes, it's real sporadic on how these things erupt. And so uh, somebody might enter the water when it's relatively calm and feel uh, safe and comfortable getting up pretty close to some of these hot areas and then all of a sudden it might let off a, a blast of hot gases and hot water and scald somebody and uh, I know people like to kind of take chances sometimes like the thrill but I don't know anybody that likes the, the thrill of maybe getting third degree burns <laughs> there's something about a burn that's uh, so painful everybody wants to avoid it so I think it's a smart idea to, to just wait and maybe when the snow melts over and you can kind of see these features a little more clearly where they are, then maybe the Forest Service can find a way to open part of the area back up. Did you get that? Yeah.